Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Journey Through Apostolic Succession. The Catechism of the Catholic Church 96 says, What Christ entrusted to the Apostles, they in turn handed on by their preaching and writing under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to all generations until Christ returns in glory. Today, it's about a 154th Pope in apostolic succession, that is Pope Stephen IX. Pope Stephen IX was the 154th to occupy the papal throne. Even though his reign was brief, he did have an impact on the church. His enforcement of numerous policies improved the church's standing and restored its moral compass. Few facts about him. Before rising to the pontificate, the future Pope was known as Frederick of Lorraine. Frederick chose to join the church and eventually become an archdeacon. Later, he was appointed Cardinal Archdeacon of Santa Maria in Dominica by his cousin, Pope Leo IX. Later, Frederick was appointed Cardinal Presbyter by Pope Victor II. Papacy started on August 3, 1057, choosing to adopt the name Stephen IX. His papacy ended with his death on March 29, 1058. Pope Stephen IX was succeeded by Nicholas II, according to modern church records. Contributions It only took about five days after the death of Pope Victor II to elect Pope Stephen IX. Pope's achievements were limited due to his short papacy, but almost immediately, the Pope would enforce the Gregorian reform policies. This included clerical celibacy and the denouncement of simony. Another notable act was his attempt to remove Normans from Southern Italy, and he feared they would advance and to negotiate an end to the schism of 1054. He sent Cardinal Hildebrand, who would become Pope Gregory VII, as a papal to delegate to speak to the Byzantine Emperor. Unfortunately, Pope Stephen IX fell ill and died suddenly. Pope Stephen IX died on March 1058 was buried in the crypt of Santa Reparata in Florence, Italy. With that, we conclude today's episode. As always, please stay tuned for our next episode. Please like, share, and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the church, God bless all of you. Mm -hmm.